Before we go any further, let's take a minute to discuss the previous situation. If this was a real-world situation, you would have many, many points, potentially forming four clusters. With the risk of oversimplifying the matter, B could represent small expensive apartments or rip-offs. A would represent small reasonably priced apartments, D big reasonably priced apartments, and C would represent big cheap apartments or bargains. All else equal, what are we likely to observe usually? Small apartments would be cheaper and big apartments would be more expensive. Maybe the rip-offs were representing apartments in the city center, while the bargains, apartments in the suburbs. If we separate them from the rest, we will be left with something that looks very familiar. Our good old regression. And that's how different statistical methods communicate with each other. Now, what about the initial four-cluster situation? Clustering, in this case, can help us identify omitted variable bias. In this situation, you can think about clustering as a method for exploring the data and realizing that one or more significant variables have not been included in the analysis. So instead of predicting price based solely on size, we may need to include location to get a better prediction. Okay, hopefully this lecture was useful not only for your clustering, but your data science understanding as a whole. Thanks for watching.